Hello guys, Almatross here, just coming at you with the fourth part of our Node.js development series, and uh, in this video, uh, I think I'm going to talk a little bit about sockets, so, uh, by the way, I am trying to cut these videos down a little bit, keeping them at like 5 to 10 minutes long, and not going into so much depth, so that we can kind of separate them out into separate smaller parts, you know, so people can uh, maybe pick and choose uh, what they want to watch, uh, maybe if you know some stuff already, so... What is the point of sockets then, basically? Um, basically, what we can do with sockets is we can update data on a web page, but we don't actually need to refresh the page. So we can create like dynamic web applications as opposed to static you know, web pages. Uh, so I think the best thing to do with this is to just jump right in and to just try it out. So at this point, without too much explaining anymore, uh, you'll, you'll basically pick up the concept of this whenever we actually get into it. Basically, we can load uh, data from the server without refreshing the web page, which is pretty cool. So say const socket equals require and then the module name is socket.io uh, Basically just go off and install that and then come back here once you've declared it and installed it Then basically we can do uh, const io equals socket and we're gonna pass in our server in here And that's basically socket io set up for here then inside of your main uh, What I've done is I've gone ahead and added toaster just so we can get some alerts um, just to, just to demonstrate, you know, um, how these work just with the alerts so we can send alerts back from the server. So inside of here as well, we're going to do script source equals and then it's slash socket.io slash socket.io.js. That's the script that we're going to add in here. And then down below here, then we can add another script in here. And we're just going to say const socket equals io. So that's basically socket IO set up on the client side now as well. So we need to demonstrate what this actually does so you know how to do it. So I'm just gonna go and like in here and I'm going to say io.onConnection. And then what we can do is we have a function here which is going to call whenever a new socket connects. So basically the way sockets work is each socket is like a live connection to the server. So each time someone opens a new tab in their browser, they enter a new socket session. And then whenever they close that tab, the session is ended. And each each separate socket has its own unique socket ID, so it can be identified. So basically, whatever we do in here, if we say socket.emit in here, that's going to emit to the individual socket that connected to the server. So basically inside of here, if I can just like very quickly show you how we would show the number of users that are online. So if I say let online equals zero, then I could say, so io.onConnection, then we're gonna say online plus equals one. And then there's another event called disconnect. So we can say socket.onDisconnect. And then we could have, um, oops, online minus equals one. So at this point, we're also gonna wanna notify the client this has changed so it's no good just changing it and then nobody knows about it so we could say uh, no no in fact so for so so inside of here we can say socket.emit to emit to the one socket that's connected right now so we could say you know on this event socket.emit this and then it would send it back to that client that requested it or we can say io.emit and that will emit the event to every single person on the server so we could say uh, uh, io.emit online change and then what we can do is we can pass in some things to emit to the client here. So we could pass in an object and say like thing one, thing one, blah, 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 blah. But for this, we don't need the object. So we can just simply pass in online in here. And this online data is going to be sent out to the client. And we can do the same thing for disconnect in here. So basically what we want to do now is the client doesn't know what to do whenever it receives that event. So it's receiving this online change event. It's thinking, what do we do whenever we get the online change? So... I can just declare in here like a an h2 users online and then we can just have a span online users we can default this to zero and then what was it called online change so basically to specify what we do down here uh, basically we just go into the script tag and we say socket.on and then we declare the event in here so it's on online change and then all we do is we say, uh, we, we have a function and then the data that we sent is gonna be inside this function. So we can say data dot blah 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 for objects have been put in there, but the data in here, I'm actually just gonna call this online in here. So 
At this point, then I can just say, whenever we get this, online users dot text is just going to be online then, and that's basically it. We can we can now see all the users that are online uh, inside our web inside our application. So if I just bring up the web browser in here, we can see users online is one. If I open a new tab, two users, three users, four users, and then we have three, two, one. <clears throat> so that's a cool way to show how many users are online. No, I didn't. Yeah, I imported the toaster because I kind of wanted to show you something else uh, about how we could do more than this and receive data from the client and then send it out. So if I just have an input in here and then I have a button, whatever, and then just being like, emit. So then at this point then, whenever we click the button, Then basically what we want to do is we want to emit an event so uh, we can socket.emit and then we can call this alert me and then inside of here then we can pass in, I'll just show you how the object works as well to see you know. Um, so the actual, we can just say message is going to be input.val and yeah that's it for the client side. So then, um, basically what we can do then is, you're gonna want to, yeah, we'll show you the, the server side first. So basically then, we just we just declare an event. We can declare whatever event, like we can declare whatever, like ev uh, emit events that we want, as long as we deal with them on the server side. So the server at this point will be getting this alert me event. It won't know what to do with it until we declare it. So we can say socket.on alert me. We have function data. And then inside of here, we can say socket.emit, we can say alert. And then inside of here, then uh, we're going to pass in um, the data.message. Yeah, it's called message, yeah. So data.message, and then inside of here, we're going to put in success. This is just for toaster. Um, then I'll show you how to handle the toaster messages. So we say in here, socket dot on alert function and then inside of here then we're going to have message and then status so inside of here then we can just simply say toaster and then inside of here then we can have the status and then here we can have the message so this is going to show a toaster notification uh, whenever we get the alert event so as you can see that's why we passed in the success data dot message we pass an error there so we can emit some error messages to the client as well but for now this is basically going to be hopefully a working application where we can type into the input we can emit the event and then the message um that we're going to get on this uh, toaster notification is going to be the input value that we put in so let's see i hope that this works first time but it might not is cool emit and as you can see this is cool up here I'm, I'm glad this actually worked first time because like I, I was gonna be really annoyed if I had to come through and do this again so every time then we can do like sockets are so cool and then um, we can actually emit this out so as you can see actually if I do it here it will only come up on this socket so if we want to come up on every socket uh, we could just simply do io dot emit in here as you saw with the online. So then at this point, um, you can't see that. SDF here, but it also emits to here as well. So we can actually get messages out to all the different clients. So obviously alert notifications won't be very useful for every single person to see. But if you had an example of a chat, um, yeah, um, do you know what actually? Oh, I was thinking about making like a chat now. To be honest, whenever I got into it, it would take too long, but this is the concept of it. All you would do is you would do this. You would like an emit an event called like chat message. Then you could say like on chat message. Then we io.emit new chat message. And then whenever we get new chat message on here, then we could append to like a chat bar here. Um, we could append the message that we received. So, you know, as you can see, there are so many like possibilities with this. I've just kind of gone really, really like touched the surface of this, but obviously like, you know, like storing information about the separate socket IDs and like alerting two separate sockets and things like that, you know, outside, you know, and on some other event and somewhere else in your application, you can do all this sort of thing uh, with these. But as I say, just introducing you to them. And this is probably gonna be the video over for this video. Um, but yeah, you can, um, 
I'll be back in the next video for some more. I'm trying to think what I'm going to move on to next. Might do some database connections in the next one. I don't know, but I'll see you in the next video, guys. Hope you enjoyed.